What you doing? Welcome back to my channel. So this is the vlog that we've all been waiting for. Um, today is puppy day and I'm so excited and Drubs is excited. We are leaving at 11 o'clock in like 12 minutes um, to go get the puppy. He is like 40 minutes away. Um, so we're leaving an hour early. We're not gonna do his name reveal in this video because I'm not 100% sure on his name. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure, but like it still possibly could change. And also I wanted to do another video anyway, so you guys can see more of his cuteness um, and like an update video on after we get him. I've pretty much puppy proofed the, I mean, I wouldn't say the entire, but mostly like the whole um, living room and kitchen area. So as you can see, I put his crate here and I think I am going to end up moving that, but just for him to get used to everything, I'm going to keep it in here. Um, I put a gate here so that if we're leaving um, to go eat or something, I can keep him in the kitchen area. He might not be crate trained when we first get him. So that's also the reason for the gate. Um, so yeah, there's just this kitchen area he can just kind of run around in. Hopefully there's nothing for him to destroy. Um, I really hope so. We're in the car about to leave. Um, I brought his leash, his collar, and we're going to pick up a toy from Petco for him, for the car. So, yeah. We just got our little guy. We just did the paperwork. Yay. Oh, he like you. He like you. Hello. And now we're going to head home. This collar is so cute on him. Yes. He's so cute. Yeah, so we'll see you at home. just got home he's not too hungry we're gonna be looking back on this and like he's gonna be so big guys drops has no idea he obviously smelled my hands when I came in and was petting him but like he hasn't seen yet. oh shoot I just said it the puppy like put his toy in his mouth and now drops is sniffing it smelling the puppy's smell what is it what is it, my guy? I do not know how this is gonna go. <gasps> he sees him. And it's okay, Drops. Oh, he's a little curious too. Look. They're both very curious of each other. Okay, guys, it is eight o'clock. I just took a shower. Um, yeah, just took a shower. I put Oppa in the bathroom with me because I thought that that would be better than putting him um, in the gate, gated in the kitchen. Um, but I probably should have just put him in the kitchen because he was like crying anyway, because he couldn't see me, but he could hear me. Um, so that was probably like the most stressful shower I've ever taken is him making noises. And I'm like worried, trying to hope that he doesn't make too many noises and the neighbors don't hear and get mad. So um, he peed on the floor like a little after we got home um we did take him out but i don't know i guess he just peed on the floor um he's also never like been out on walks on the leash but the two times after he peed on the floor he actually peed outside in the grass um which is really good so two out of the three times he went potty were outside um so so far potty training is going well drebs is starting to warm up to him but he just gets kind of scared off whenever um the puppy barks so I think in a couple days they'll be friends though. We'll see. Also, Appa seems to only like the cat toys. Like I've picked up most of the cat toys cause they're pretty small. Um, but if there's like one laying out, like he'll find it and he'll be trying to play with it. When he has his own toys, I guess, I don't know if they're just too big for him, if they're just too big for him or if he doesn't like that kind. Um, so we're gonna go to the pet store again tomorrow. Um, cause I have to return some stuff and also to get him some more toys that hopefully he will actually play with um, and be entertained by instead of just the cat toys. Um, we took him on a longer walk. It wasn't super long, it was probably just like, probably half a mile, maybe, not exactly sure. Um, and whenever he would get tired, he would just sit there, 
just be a lazy guy. We'd have to carry him a little bit and then put him down and then he'd walk a little. And then a just repeated cycle of laziness. He was also doing it earlier after not even like 10 seconds of being outside, just plopping his butt down on the ground. Um, he's a lazy guy. I really wanna do the DNA test to see what kind of breeds he has in him. I might, I don't know. I don't know if I'll film doing that, maybe, who knows. Let me know if you want me to film that, and <laughs> I will, um, if anyone's interested or cares. But yeah, I'm very interested to see what breeds he has in him because I just have no clue at this point. He's gonna be a big boy. He already weighs like 13 pounds, and they said that he is eight to 10 weeks right now. He also does this thing where he'll just like lay down and act like he's about to go to sleep. And he looks so cozy, and then just like the second you think that he's about to go to sleep, he just gets up and is all active again. Okay guys, so it is the next day. I'm pretty sure I forgot to film an outro, so here it is. The first night wasn't too bad. I woke up at like 3 o'clock and 6 o'clock to take him out, so he didn't have any accidents last night. He's been doing really good with potty training. I'm like thoroughly impressed. I was not expecting that. I will update you guys later with a name reveal, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned. Um, so yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.